Hi, Power Automate aficionados. We're here today to review the approvals connector in Power Automate. This one gets five stars. It's a great connector. So we can see here, use case, approvals are a built-in workflow for Power Automate. It's actually the easiest entry if your organization has been resisting or doesn't understand Power Automate. Approvals is an awesome way to do this. Now, more likely than not, your company has an approval process of some sort. There's probably a lot of them, but you can probably come up with at least one or two that are done completely manually. Well, this is an awesome way that you can show the power of Power Automate and automate that entire approval, plus, approval process. Say that five times fast. Use approvals to email parties who can approve or deny the request, include a link for more details, and use it as a simple way to get human validation on requests. Now, at Reenhanced, we use this in a number of ways. I think the easiest one to talk about is a blog approval process that we have. It's a peer review process. It used to be done entirely manually, but now anytime I or one of my colleagues pens a blog article for Reenhanced.com, we simply go to a Teams channel, paste the link, and then hit a button. After that, the entire flow takes over and the approval process is entirely automated. Anyone who's on the peer review committee gets a text on their phone, they get an email, and they get a notification in Teams. And it's really simple as an approver who's performing the peer review and then approving or rejecting and submitting additional comments or thoughts, you, you're just pressing one button unless you wanna add some text. It's super cool. The other thing I wanna show you is one of the templates that we built for Gravity Forms by Reenhanced. Templates are a great way to get started. I'm just showing you the one that we have which is start an approval when a Gravity Forms form is submitted. So you can click on this and then get to be able to test drive what that looks like. We can also come over to the approvals itself and check out what their templates are because chances are there's a template that you can be using. Here. There's a video editing. Here we are in templates. So this is flow.microsoft.com and we went to templates and approval has its own section. So you can just click on that and then look at all of these templates available to you just by that use the approval connector. You can see they have a lot of connectors in here. Take a look at these. They might be a really awesome place for you to start to think about how you can use approvals at your organization and what you can automate. So in closing, this is one of the best connectors in Power Automate. It's fantastic. The use cases are limited only to how your company can imagine how to automate things. So take a look at approvals, let me know what you think, and if you come up with any great flows, I'd love to hear them too.